All right, let's dry hop some homebrew. If you're using fresh hops like this, just make sure that they are crushed and ready to add. You can also use pellet hops or whole cone hops, and you can simply add those straight from the bag that you get from the brewers. Now this is going into my primary fermenter right on top of the beer. You can also rack the beer on top of the hops in a secondary fermenter. Just put the hops in first and then simply siphon the beer on top. This is a small two gallon batch and I like to add one quarter ounce of hops per gallon of homebrew. So this is a total of one half ounce of hops. Now you can use more or less. It really depends on your desired outcome. With dry hopping, it does add aroma and flavor, but it does not add more bitterness. You only get the bitterness when you boil the hops. Once added, I stirred them in a little bit, but this is really not necessary. Simply put the lid back on and let them soak for up to five days before bottling. And I will do a final tasting of this beer once it's done. So you can find that link in the description, along with more home brewing videos on my channel.